Hey everybody, let's do this. I am going to play this Fafnir, Fafnir match against Pele, and we are going to win because Fafnir is OP. Is that simple, really? Okay, but we, we're trying to get some more clips for the Fafnir dual montage because uh, I haven't been playing Fafnir, and when I open my clips folder, it's looking mighty empty for such a strong god, so we got this. Okay, so biggest worry is that I've talked about this in every full gameplay I've done with Fafnir. You guys keep requesting him, so I'm going to keep playing him. Um, his early game sucks. It sucks so much, I cannot under as, uh, like overstate that. But his late game is like better than most of the OP gods. I got, I got the wrong ability. Okay, his late game is better than most gods in duel. I'm actually gonna go one two three because I usually level up your abilities one one three gives you more damage. But I messed up. It's not too big of a deal. It's just gonna cost me mana. His weaknesses are sus mana sustain, his cooldowns, and his damage is. Like, his kill potential is only with his ultimate in the early game. And his clear is bad. So, if you can survive the early game and get to that late game, you can win with Fafnir. <laughs> this might actually give us more damage, Mage's Blessing. I didn't like Mage's Blessing for a while. Oh, and this can take two auto attacks because I love my abilities wrong. Oof. Oof. Please. Okay, she didn't get horrific. What was I saying? I was saying something. Uh oh. Okay. Fafnir's late game is so incredibly good. I will always stick by that. Yeah, but we're trying to get some more montage plays. And guys, I want to let you know that I read every single comment. And the comments you guys had in the last full gameplay, I really appreciate. You guys said that you do enjoy these. And I think it's just that in the back of my mind, I was thinking if I upload these too much, people are going to unsub. Unsub. And you know what the truth is? Some people might unsub, but the, it'll be hardly anybody, and the extra content for those that do enjoy it will be a lot happier. Oh, there's no way I was going to get that, unfortunately. Unfortunately, there's no way. We should I leap here? Yeah. Uh, we'll have to lose some minions to tower, but that's just the way it goes. Fafnir is, Fafnir is pro probably one of the... He doesn't have the weakest early game. It's just he has to play back. He has to play passive. Which is funny because I hate that play style. So it's strange that I would enjoy Fafnir. He has his, she has her ult, so we got to be careful. But yeah, just, just play kind of passive. You know, you can clear the wave. You can take some minion damage. But the important thing is you don't die as Fafnir. The important thing is you don't die. Like here, I'm going to take some minion damage. Because I want to kill his minions. And my passive helps me kind of stay not too back far behind him the gold. But yeah, what was I saying? Oh yeah, I read every comment. Thank you guys for the feedback. You guys were saying you really enjoy these. So I'm going to be uploading, try to upload these two times a week. I don't know what days yet. But I'm going to try to upload them twice a week at the same time. That way we have kind of a schedule for these. And other videos will just come normally. Like, I don't really have a schedule for those, but I kind of like them being little surprises. And I have, I just, like, today I had a great stream, and I actually got two games today that I can edit into a video, so I'm looking forward to that. So that'll be good. All right, we got it back. So we haven't died yet. So we're behind the gold. We're behind the next people. We haven't died yet. Therefore, we're winning. That's how it works. See, we don't have to do anything but sit back and get to late game. And it seems like a scummy playstyle, but we're Fafnir, so that makes it not scummy. <laughs> Whereas if you're a mage with long range and you're sitting in towers, like, come on. But Fafnir is a Fafnir's very close range, you know. It's not like I'm sitting, sitting in tower. Like, I'm still coming out. But sh the pressure's on her to make a play, you know? The pressure's on her to make a play, to dive or to do something. And I can react to that. If she dives me, I just use my one and alt, and she will take all of her health. And then that'll put us ahead. We actually might have some kill potential here, but I don't think it's enough. Let's see. Maybe I might. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go. 
the one into the ult just slows her, keeps her in it. She's gonna have to ult here or she's dead. Oh, unless I miss. Unless I'm an idiot. Although, unless I miss, she's gonna ult me, I'm dead. <laughs> no, I missed the three. Nice juke from her. Aww. That was mine. I don't regret going in. Like, I don't regret using my ult and all that. I regret missing the three. I just put it too far forward and she juked towards me. Pele is a super fast god. She can juke very easily. But it was more that I missed it than she juked it, I guess. That was more on me. That was more on me. So that was just bad. But bad plays happen. As long as we can get to, like, level 13 without tremendous losses, we'll be okay. I don't know where the Goldilocks, like, level is for Fafner where he starts coming back, but I think around 13 is where it is. I'm not sure. That might number might I might just be making up. But it seems like he starts doing extremely well once you have, like, one or, like, a couple points in his ult. The pressure's on her to make some plays. She got Brawler's first time. That's actually really good for her and bad for me. Oh, I didn't get that. That's That's rough. That's rough for me. So this is bad. One thing I like to do as Fafter is keep control of my blue buff. Because that kind of doesn't let me get so incredibly far behind. And since she took my blue buff, it's going to be pretty difficult to stay in this game. Okay, let's just back. All right, tier two boots. We are three levels behind. Yes, it seems like we're incredibly behind. That's because we are, but Fafnir's late game is so strong. And Pele's late game is weak, so it's actually it's actually going to show pretty... Oh, what is that ping? Oh, my lord. Oh, well, never mind. If our ping goes up, I can't really do anything about that. Uh, well, you know what? I don't need ping. We can do this. I used to play with 250 ping all the time. I can do this. I used to. That was before I got better in internet. Ooh, yeah, that's pretty bad. I didn't play much Fafnir back then, though. <laughs> Uh-oh. Ah! Alright, run away, run away. Okay, we're good. Oh, no, we're not good. She's going for it. Oh, she's diving. Okay, we're good. Sucks I had to use my ult there, but um, really all we could do. For those that don't know with Fafnir's kit, uh, I can point out a couple of things. If all of your cooldowns are down and you use your ult, it refreshes your cooldowns. And when you untransform, it refreshes your cooldowns as well. Man, I really wish my ping was not high right now. I don't know what's going on. Another thing not everyone knows with Fafnir is the ultimate does not trigger item effects, but if you use your two, you can get it to trigger like Gem Viso because your two will trigger item effects. When you put Fafnir's two on somebody, it counts as Fafnir's damage. So in other game modes, you know, you can give your teammate Gem Viso. I'm surprised not that many people know that. And Fafnir is the only god that can remove protections from towers with Spear of the Mages because he uses his two on him. And then, oh, I could have hit her. Ah, but I didn't. You use your two on you, and then you auto-attack the, the tower, and it counts as ability damage, so it removes the tower's protections. It is so weird. Thoth used to be able to do that, but then they removed that. It's very important we have our escape up when she uses her two. Otherwise, we'll die instantly. Okay, we're getting close. We can get breastplate now. We're getting, we're getting close to, like... Where we can fight back. I must defend. We just gotta have patience. Patience. I don't have to do anything. She's the one that's gonna ha that has to dive me and stuff and make sure I don't get to late game. Or just keep taking my buffs. That's cool too. Did I get it? No, I hit her though. See, okay, here's another thing. I would use my three here for to clear the wave, but she is coming. If I don't have my three up, she will kill me. Oh, never mind. Wait, 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 wait. She has, she has nothing up. She has nothing up. Go, 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 go. That was good. She should not have came back to lane with uh, no no mana. If she has no mana, she is a sitting duck. That is very good. Do not 
All right, just do some damage. Like we we don't have objective push yet. The nice thing about Fafnir is he's one of the guardians that can actually take objectives because of his two. But that's more in the late game when you have points in it. I would consider maxing the one, three, then two. If you need more sustain, max two over the three. Um, also, I am going to get. I'm gonna get Bracer. Bracer's always good on Fafter. I went Thorns just because Pele. Uh, Thorns is good with uh, against her ability life still. Upgraded Thorns. I should have went Bracer first. Thorns second, though, because it's not like I'm gonna upgrade my Thorns right away. And even if they get anti heal for the Bracer, it's still good because uh, Fafner's cooldowns are so long. Upgraded Bracer helps you get them online faster. I say right now, uh, give it like two minutes and we'll start killing her like off our cooldown for our alt. Uh, she's probably mad that I'm tower sitting, but I mean, she's getting all my buffs and stuff. Okay, here. I'm going to go Breastplate. Cooldown's super, super good on Fafnir. Like I said, cooldown's one of his weaknesses. So we've gotten rid of one of Fafnir's weaknesses by getting these cooldown items. And we've gotten rid of his weakness with his, with, of his clear with Bancroft's and Mage's Blessing. And now we have kill potential because we have a couple points in our ult. So we're exactly where we want to be right now. The only thing we're missing is Pen. But, I mean, like, we can still kill her because our one has protection shred in our... In, in dragon form. In dragon form, the one has protection shred. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. Use her bracer. There we go. That's good, that's good. That I can actually put in the montage, maybe. I don't know. I've been just trying to get plays with Fafnir. I really don't know. There's some plays where I just delete my opponent. It's like, that's fun, but it wasn't a good play. There's plays like that where it's close, but it wasn't a good play. So it's hard to know what's a good play versus what's just a close kill or what's just high damage. Because I, like um, I like to put a little bit of all of those things. At the drop, I like to put the best plays, depending on what song I use, which I don't know what I'm going to use yet. All right, let's take this. It's back. Oh, actually, plate safe, plate safe. We're at the point where I think we just win. Like, she, she's going to have to make some crazy plays to come back. Because her early game's already worn out. And our late game is here. Once I get Spear of the Magus, you'll really feel it. The reason you get Spear of the Magus on Fafnir is because every single ability is technically a bleed. Um... In his ultimate and that's the, that's when you're gonna be killing them so that's when it matters is this up yes it is yeah when you're playing Fafnir try and keep control of your blue buff though I wasn't able to this game but it still turned out okay she got a sentry so she's probably oh never mind oh you guys hear that that's my cat by the way if you're ever watching a full gameplay and you hear like hear that little like chitter that's just my cat like making noises like right now, he is on my desk in front of me, in my face. Because he does that sometimes. I can't see. Okay. Ooh, nice juke. Nice juke. We'll make it look like she can fight us here, but she really can't. I want her to engage on me. I want her to ult me here. I don't know if she will. There we go. She, she has no escape. She has nothing up. She should be dead. Oh, unless I miss. I missed. I missed. I wanted to stay in that fight, but I missed. I missed like an idiot. I missed bad. I'm probably dead. Yeah, I missed my ability. That went exactly how I wanted it. She ulted. She did everything I wanted, but I missed my ability. And it's very, very crucial to hit your abilities on Fafter. If you're bad like me sometimes, <laughs> sometimes, it's easier to hit the three than the one. But... If they have high movement speed, it's better to just hold off on your abilities until you can guarantee hit them. Just hit them with the Dragon Breath. They'll get annoyed. They'll start base attacking. They'll be slower. Then that's when you go for it. Oh, wow. She's actually going to get Phoenix here. That surprises me. That surprises me, but I'm not worried about the game. I'm not worried about the game. That surprises me. I made a big misplay, actually. I didn't realize how big that was because she had the wave. But uh, I'm not worried about the game. We should still have it. I'm going to get a uh, Divine Rune as well for her healing. So she got cooldown. 
She got her two up faster than I thought it was going to be up. I'll, I'll admit, that caught me off guard. Because she got that Yopens and Genjis. And that ZC'd me. Not only did I miss one ability, I missed like two or three, I, I think. Like I'll, have to, I'll have to look back to see. But I'm still not worried about the game because we're pretty much at late game. We have our pen now. Like, think about it. We weren't even fighting her with pen. Run away. Okay, we can just ult. This can hurt her a lot. This can hurt her a lot. Yeah. Yeah, she instantly blew up, honestly. So we can one-shot her now, pretty much. Like, if you look at these damage numbers, they're pretty intense. Thorns hit her for 600 there. I don't know if that's right. Oh, there's my cat again. Oh, I don't want to walk in there. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's go. I do have other factor skins. It's just that I really like the diamond skin. Okay, we gotta go back. Okay, so let's 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 think about this situation. Yeah, we're full full health of mana, but we cannot fight her. Our ult, remember, our ultimate is our kill potential. Without our ultimate, we can't fight her unless she's like super low. Uh oh, this is bad. I shouldn't have went for the buff. Okay, good. She focused the buff rather than me. I think if I killed that buff, it would have been worse for me. Because then she would have went for me instead. And I my jump was down. Yeah, so our kill potential is our ult. Our ult is almost back up again because we have a lot of cooldown. So we should be able to kill her again. She did get Titan's Bane. That's fine. Also, um, depending on what situation you're in, if your Phoenix is down and you don't Titan sit like me, ward here and here. They will never be able to backdoor you without you knowing. You'll always have enough time to back. Unless they're like some crazy god. Alright, our one and all. Ooh, she ulted there. This is not good for her. This is not good for her at all. Okay, we need to hit this three. We need to hit this three. Okay, good. If I missed that three, that would have been game. So she's still putting up a decent fight, actually. But like, I had my bracer up. At the same time, she does have anti heal. She's doing a good job at juking most of my damage. Oh, let's get this red buff. Oh, it's down. Never mind. Phoenix is up. We're in a good spot. And now we're starting to actually take the game. So, like, we were starting to win fights around... Oh, I don't even know what level it was. You know, a while ago. <laughs> but the lead didn't catch up to us till now. Watch out for thieves. Actually, we can't take this, unfortunately. We got it back. I like Fafnir because he plays a... Like passively, but when he goes in, he goes in hard, you know? Okay, so let's go. I could get jumped by Zoe because she is moving so fast. Is she going to Soul Eater this late? After I got anti healed? That doesn't make sense. I'm going to get jumped by Zoe because she has insane movement speed. And, oh, we got to pay attention to her blink. I didn't even realize she had that. Because if I can slow her down, I can hit my abilities. What we'll do is we'll Dragon Breath, use our two, slow her with the Gem Viso with our two-inch Dragon Breath. And then that'll allow us to hit our abilities. It's like not even a matter of fact that I'm bad, it's just a matter of fact that Pele has a million movement speed. Oh, I really want her to ult. Because I don't want to ult and then her Chi ults out. Like, that's bad for me. Oops. Okay, that's good, that's good. Ooh, that's not good. She didn't get stuck in it. Okay, this is very good. Very good. Look at that damage. Like, it's just the, the tick damage. At first, it's like, oh, that's not that much. But then it all starts hitting all at once. The one tick damage, the three tick damage, then my dragon breath. With the two on top of all of those ticks of damage. It just adds up. Okay, um, I'm going to do some damage, and I'm just going to untransform. If you actually looked at those numbers there, you could tell that I was shredding the uh, the tower's protections. Maybe I can show you guys again. So, 80, 84, 88, 93, 8, 98, 104. So that's Spirit of the Matrix, working with my two. Both used... Uh-oh. Like I said, I forgot about the blink. Oh, no. This is very bad. This is very bad. Okay. 
We gotta leap over this wall. Actually, yeah. That was a slow leap. Keep using I2 for healing. We're okay. We're okay. If she dives us here, she's dead. I lost my train of thought. What was I talking about? <laughs> oh, Thoth used to be able to, but then Hyra's removed it because they don't like cool mechanics. All right. Uh, upgraded thorns will be good here. She got Soul Eater way too late, but overall her build is not horrible. It is very, very ability-based, though. And since I, since I got Divine Ruin, I don't think she should have gotten this at all. Like, if it was her first item, she could have kept it. But since it's not even evolved yet, why get it, right? Like, I already have my Anthropod online. Yeah, but I do think Fafnir is one of the stronger gods in Duel. He just has a very frustrating and weak early game. But after you get past the early game, it's like this almost every game. I've lost a couple of times late game, but not many times. Alright, we can just shred her. Watch. Look at that CC chain. She can't do anything. Look at that CC chain. Okay, another thing I want to notice is you see that I used my 3 and I didn't use my 1 right away. That's because I wanted her to stay stunned and right when the stun runs out, I throw the 1. It's less damage because the 1 has protection shred, so it's better to use the 1 than the 3. But sometimes it's too difficult to hit because I would if I miss it, then that's a lot of damage gone. But still very, very good overall. I'd say this is a good full gameplay. But I'm going to try to do these twice a week. Um, I'm not sure which days of the week I'm going to do yet, but I'll figure it out. I will, I'll post a schedule when I figure it out. But right now it's just random. Oh, did they report me? They reported me. It wouldn't be a good game if they didn't report you in duel for beating them. All right. GG, you guys.